Hi, welcome to Build Life. I'm Steve and this is my off-grid So here it is, the outhouse. Not real fancy. This is a bucket inside a box. The whole thing is lined with aromatic cedar. And on this side, we have a shower, complete with Bigfoot shower curtain. A window here for ventilation and a little tap light. We keep sawdust in this bin here to cover up uh, when you're done and this other bin is full of toilet paper and wipes and things like that so um, I'm going to be installing a shelf up there to put those things on to get them off the floor so I'm going to take you outside and show you this is the shower setup so we have a Camp Chef on-demand hot water heater runs off propane we have I think it's a 275 gallon IBC tote we are collecting rainwater in this case snow off the roof fills this tote we take a little 12 volt pump on a lawnmower battery and uh, that pumps the water into the heater heats it up comes out a shower head inside the shower works really well. Currently, the cap is frozen on, so we're going to let it warm up a little bit before we take the cap off and drop the hose in there. So you can see, we are right here by the creek, which is why it makes a good place to put your shower. Because our shower drains out this pipe and goes down this little stream along with all the rainwater and off into the creek there. So we've put a pallet with a horse mat on it for a front stoop to keep you out of the water. And because we are always muddy here, we have horse mat flooring in the outhouse so it doesn't get too nasty, which is not a great combination for a shower. But anyways, as you can see, it's a little muddy. We also need some storage. This is where we keep paper towel and toilet paper. I have another bin like that Craftsman one there. I am going to install this shelf up there for that stuff. So we're gonna unwrap this thing. Get the bolt cutters out. Cut this shelf to length. This is just a simple wire closet shelf. I'm going to put it up. That's the last thing you can do. This out. all filled up this is an exhaust fan on the door of the outhouse that's a solar cell on the outside and in here is the fan it works about half the time but here's the real stupid part that is the switch inside to turn it on and off so you have to put your hand in there 
flip the switch and then pull it out. It's not a very strong fan, so I don't think anyone's gonna lose a finger, but sort of funny. We've also sort of learned that leaving the door open works better than the fan anyways. <laughs> 